welcome back to the sewing room it is monday i had a really fun hangout with the peeps yesterday actual sewing occurred i got all the panels of the denim skirt together i also managed to get the corduroy skirt and lining finished on saturday and um, i did a nice beautiful narrow rolled hem on my lining <laughs> and it's dropped on the bias the corduroy part hasn't, the corduroy part's fine, but the lining has dropped on the bias. So I'm going to need to neaten that up. It's a rookie error, I know. I know to let fabrics like that drop on the bias, but I didn't. But at least I've worked it out before I did exactly the same thing with the lining of exactly the same fabric for the denim skirt. So today's mission is to cut off all my hard work, re-level the hem, re-hem the hem, and then attach it to the bodice which I have got finished over there. I'm really liking how it's looking, two secs. Obviously not with this print. Obviously not with this print, but I really am liking. I mean, we all know I love the 9345, which is why I'm doing this experiment with this pattern. Really happy with how this has turned out. I think it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. But yes, I need to fix the lining on the skirt before I attach it to the bodice just because the more fabric I, I attach to it, the more difficult it is to wrangle. This stuff's not too bad to work with. I am ending up with corduroy fluff everywhere, but that's to be expected. So yeah, that's the plan for to this morning. Well, this early afternoon <laughs> is get that hem leveled, get the other lining skirt for the denim skirt sewn and hung up so it can start doing its biasy thing. I might start working on the waistcoat because it's the same denim so I've got the same thread on the on the uh, machine. The facing needs its interfacing attached to it and bias binding put on it. The waistband needs to be interfaced for the skirt. So yeah, there's quite a few little sort of like odds and sod jobs to do today, but I should end up with two almost finished pieces, almost. I've got my Vogue 9006 top on in the teal Cobra Corsage. Wait, is it teal? Turquoise? Teal? I can't remember. I'll list it down below. With my Vogue 1743 skirt in the black brushed cotton twill. And I mean, I've got purple tights on as well just because it's cold, but the purple does go with these. If I was going out, I would put my turquoise boots on. This does go as an outfit. It's okay, but it's not like my favorite. My immediate thought was, ooh, I need to buy some more of this fabric and make a three quarter circle skirt and then I could wear it together with this and it would look awesome. And it would, but that kind of, I might as well just wear my dress that I've made from this fabric, although that is a very different silhouette. And so I'm thinking I am gonna be doing a purple themed lookbook. Navy is next, but purple is after that. And this is gonna be one of the prints that goes in with that. And as I say, I've got this top and the dress that I've made from this fabric. I've got another top as well from this fabric. So I'm thinking maybe it wouldn't be daft to buy a little bit more to do the three quarter circle skirt because I do have the two tops from it and then I'm gonna make a solid purple skirt that I think is gonna go really well with this print. I've also got some turquoise corduroy that might look good. So yeah, I'm not I'm not 100% sure I'm in love with this and I think it is the, the black skirt. I love the top, I do love the top but I'm not sure about the skirt and, and also I, I absolutely adore these sleeves. <laughs> yeah, not sure about today's outfit, but anyway, I'm, this is supposed to be part, I'm totally treading on the um, can I wear separates video, which you'll be seeing in November. Let, let's just get on with some sewing, shall we? That's a good plan. A few moments later. Little sneaky peek of the dress. I still need to sew the lining at the waist and I still need to hand stitch the hem but mum and I are going to the Apley Beach Cafe again on Thursday so I'm leaving all the hand sewing for then. I really like it. I mean the only difference is that I've taken off the collar and the revere of the collar. I've just kind of made it like a V at the front there. That is the only thing that I've changed from the original pattern. Well I've also put a back neck facing in because of the way that this gets because there's no collar so the back facing needs to be put in but yeah yeah really pleased with this it does not go with the turquoise cobra corsage print but i actually quite like the turquoise color 
with with this because it does kind of pick out the colours in the in the leaves. Although they make they're a little duskier of a blue, but I do really like this. So that is piece number one of the five piece capsule collection done. Feels weird getting undressed in front of you, but I do have my top and skirt on underneath this. And this is meant to be a layering piece, which is good because it is fitting very nicely over my skirt and top that I'm wearing today. I probably will always wear this with a belt. I like belts as we know. So I can get out of it. Yeah, very, very pleased with this. There we go, you can see the inside there. Fully lined, just carried the facing on around the back. Still needs to be stitched down there, like I said, and the hem, the bias binding still needs to be put on at the hem. I've put on seven buttons onto the skirt and they come up just above the knee and I'm wondering do I need to put on another two buttons to kind of have it be a little bit more I don't know I'm not sure it is quite high this one it's, it covers everything that it should but it is quite high so I'm thinking maybe maybe I ought to put on another couple of buttons but I'm not sure I can be bothered to be honest. So as I mentioned earlier the skirt on this one did drop so I have had to level that and I have lost an inch of length doing that process which is a little a, a, well, a little annoying but never mind but it does mean that the other lining fabric which is the same just a different colour I need to make that up and let that hang and then also the skirt portion of the denim blue viscose that's also going to drop on the bias so I really ought to get that sewn up and hung up ready to do its biasy thing over there whilst I make the shirts and the bodices and the waistband of the skirt so I think that's what I'm going to do next two hours later okay denim skirt is almost complete I have sewn the facings on to where the notch meets and the skirt just because I can't sew the facing the whole way down because I need the lining to drop which it is doing so that I can level that hem it and then I can finish the facing but I wanted to get the facing on so that I could put the waistband on which I have done I went for a really narrow waistband this time and I went for side seams in it and I don't like it as much as my kind of just standard waistband all the way around because there's side seams in the skirt which have got bias binding in them and it got very bulky so I think trying to put a buttonhole in that waistband is going to be really problematic so I think what I'm going to do is a hook and eye and then a faux button on the top and then buttonholes and buttons down the front of the skirt that will fasten the rest of the skirt but I think I'm going to fake it at the top and hopefully that will look okay I think it will I think it should be okay we shall see but I have my denim visco skirt that I want to get sewn this evening it is currently 20 past seven but I'm you know I've got lots to do this week so I thought if I get the visco skirt sewn that can also start doing its biasy thing so that I can definitely by the end of the week level the hem and hopefully then have a finished dress because I can do exactly the same thing with this skirt when it gets sewn to the dress is kind of sew the facing far enough down that I can put the buttonholes in and then once it's dropped level the hem and then finish finish off the facing so yeah I've been digging out some thread that's the right color it's slightly too bright but it's going to be better than the navy so I'm going to wind a bobbin for this get the skirt sewn get it hung up to start doing its biasy thing and then see how I feel two hours later skirt is done and it's definitely doing its biasy thing yeah that one's going to need probably about that much cut off of the two side seams because that's where the bias is it is currently 10 past 8 I'm gonna call it a night I could work on the waistcoat but I think I'm gonna come down tomorrow and get the bodice done for this dress because I really really want to get this video done by this weekend so that's a lot of work but we can do it yeah dress dress bodice tomorrow and then I should be able to do the two shirts in one day because there's a lot of pieces in them but without the skirt portion and the hanging portion it should be doable in a day we'll see we'll see and then waistcoat afterwards and brains and beauty dress for monday and then the sorrento jacket after that and then the two deer and doe dresses and then we'll be on to november sewing blimey blimey i have procrastinated a lot this month whoops 
but never mind never mind never mind anyway i hope you've enjoyed the little bit of waffle from today and the kind of sneaky peek at the pinafore dress i'm so pleased with how that's come out and i love that fabric they do do it in two other colors there's a ready colored like a burgundy background and then a khaki background it's really nice to work with and it's very stretchy as well which is quite fun so i will link to the fabric in the description down below i'm gonna go sit with chi because I, I that's the other thing i could very easily carry on for a couple of hours down here and get something else done but it's not fair on she she's in a dark room and um she probably wants a lap to sit on so i'm gonna go play with her and watch some more chuck i'm halfway well nearly on season three so yeah i'm enjoying it anyway i'm gonna stop waffling at you i will see you all tomorrow for some more sewing fingers crossed couple of finished garments we shall see so i shall see you then bye hey peeps welcome back to the sewing room it's tuesday i am just about to cut out the interfacing for the denim colored viscose 9345 dress i'm going to start working on the sleeves and get those done and then i can work on the bodice and then i can put everything together but first i do need interfacing because the cuffs collar facing for the bodice and the skirt need to be interfaced and if I'm cutting out the cuffs I might as well get the rest of it done at the same time so I'm going to get that all pinned into place and cut out and I think I'm going to face my facings because this fabric is very kind of it's a it's a thicker it's a twill kind of weave but it is it's not I don't think I want bias binding on the facings to finish the edges of the facings. I think facing the facing, and there's a tutorial for that up here, will be a cleaner, thinner, less high profile finish on the inside, if that makes sense. So yeah, let's get all of that done. I'm also going to do my quick twirl for the day, second time wearing this outfit this week, although I do have a clean t-shirt on underneath, I promise, but I need to do my, my twirl of my outfit for the day. Still separate, not a dress. One eternity later. Today has definitely not gone according to plan, but I do have two sleeves. I was kind of hoping to have like a put together dress, but two sleeves. I have got the interfacing cut out for the facing pieces and the collar, but yeah, I'm just not a bit of a glow, go slow today. And I think I'm going to go and curl up with Chiana and, um, come back to this fresh tomorrow. I think I think that would be a good plan because I just know that I'm going to make mistakes if I carry on today. That was something that a lot of you guys were saying in uh, in the comments on the rules video is don't so tired and you're totally correct because even if you try and do those few extra little bits and pieces if you're tired you may need to unpick it the day after again ask me how I know. So yeah I think I'm gonna go curl up with Chi and come back tomorrow and try and hopefully be a bit fresher. We shall see. Yeah I shall see you then. Bye!